Hadidi Hadidi! Hello, my name is Nervous. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to be cool. Growing up as a young girl, I've always struggled with feelings of inadequacy, uh, feeling less than. I've, I always wanted to be, you know, like, you know, th there was always those girls in school who would just mash with anyone. And you know, they'd get a boyfriend anytime they wanted to. <laughs> if Tabo was giving me a problem, Boo is there, you know? And it was easy for them, you know? This, this life thing, this, they were just cool, naturally, you know? And I wanted to be like that because I felt different. I just felt like I didn't gel. I mean, I didn't even mix with the weird clan in school. <laughs> <laughs> so in my bid to try and fit in, um, Two of, two of these, these cool girls in, in, in my class were, were talking about um, planning a, a night out of party. They were planning to be mischievous. And I invited myself. <laughs> and they said, cool, it's OK, you can come with us. So we planned for that day. And I told my parents that I'm going to a movie. I mean, there's late movies, right? So I thought that we'd come back the very same day, you know, if, if, if I get into trouble, I mean, it's just 11 p.m., you know, or 12 p.m., and I'm back home, you know. So we planned the day, and, and when the day came, we, 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 we went party hopping. We, I think we went to a total of four parties in that day. I was 15. <laughs> And we, we, we had our own car, our own kumbi, and there was like uh, three of us girls and about nine boys. Now this was a time in, in our schools where young girls were being gang raped on school campuses and those, those things would get video recorded and, and shared amongst pupils in different high schools. It was, it was some kind of sick trend, but it was happening at that time. So as we, we, we party hopped, my, my parents had been trying to reach me because I'm at a movie and now they want to fetch me. So I ignore them because I can realize now that I'm not going home. We, we are going somewhere, but it's not home. And so we... we we finally stopped at a house. At that time, I didn't know where we were. Uh, I just knew it was a house and I had no choice. I can't do anything, uh, it's do or die. I am trying to be cool here. So I have to, I have to stick it out and, and you know, the results will come out, you know? And in, in this kumbi of, of, of young boys, our driver was, um, a mid-thirties man was tall and, and, and light and chubby. And he was the guy that was buying us alcohol. He would go in the shops and buy alcohol for us. And we were just drinking the night away. So when we stopped in that, that, that house, um, there was three girls and nine boys and that man. And um, one of the girls went into the bedroom with some guy, one of the boys. And I went into the other room. And it, there was like a single bed and I went there in that room. And um, um, as, I, as I was trying to fall asleep, the mid-30s man slipped into my bed. And, um, and he started touching me. Um, at that point, I'm 15. I'm trying to be cool. Um, I'm, I don't know where I am. My phone is off. I can't call my parents. And I'm trying to be cool. Right? And, um, and he... I remember saying no, um, 
no, I'm on my periods. And he, he just laid there. Let me just say that I am not sure what happened to me that night. And this is something that I've been carrying on my shoulders for years. I don't know what happened that night. And so we woke up the next day and and then we we went home and I tried to think that you know what nothing happened but I, I wasn't sure I was not sure what happened to me that night because there are things that I can't explain about how I felt that night so we went home turns out we were in Lanasia we, we went home and um, when I got home my sister was there and she called my parents and in, in like 20 minutes my parents were there turns out that as I was in a partying spree somewhere in Soweto they were rounding up parents from the schools because they couldn't find me they couldn't get a hold of me I mean Facebook was there but I wasn't doing anything on Facebook so they had no idea where we were they had no idea what was happening and so they they tried as best as they could they went FBI on me and they 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 collected all the parents that they could collect and they came and collected me at home and my mother asked me what happened and so I just told her well we just we just went out partying that's it but as a mother you know your child and you know that something happened so my mother said we are going to the police station and you are going to talk because I don't believe that you were in a house with nine boys and a, and a middle-aged man and nothing happened so we went to the police station and uh, I just told I just told the police woman that nothing happened we were just a bunch of teenagers just being naughty you know I just we're just partying you know that's it I did not tell her that I'm not sure what happened to me that night I didn't tell her that because that's more trouble for me because imagine me going back to school and then having to 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 have a story on me saying that I got raped that's not cool I was trying to be cool and I failed because I went to school and I was even uncooler than I was because I got the other kids into trouble now I wish that I could tell you guys that that was the last time I tried to be cool. <laughs> it wasn't. It was not the last time I tried to be cool. But it's because I, I battled with this, this fitting in thing, this belonging thing, this worthiness thing, this self-acceptance thing. You know, I just didn't get myself. And I thought I would get me through other people. Today, I realize that self-acceptance is not like trying to reach a destination. It's, it's like walking towards a star, you know? I'll never really get there, but I certainly know I'm headed in the right direction. And, and that's my journey now. Thank you for listening. Yes.